Hello, and welcome to the Madniverse. Today we're going to further explore Persona 5. Right now we are in our room after our festival. That kind of sucked because it got rained out. Having a good time, having a good break till that happened. But they said it was unexpected. So I wonder why there's unexpected rain. And then we also got this calling card, I guess, what you can call it, from Medjid, who apparently is our next target. Apparently it's a global organization of some kind trying to get rid of us. Well then. So that's fun. An internationally known enemy. I hope we can figure out a way to fight back. I hope so too. It's very interesting. So I wonder if the person in the black mask is part of Medjid. It's possible, I guess. That sucks, though. But I did look up on the calendar for a while, and our summer break is coming, what? so... Tell me. Hopefully, we can get some time to rest then, maybe. Everyone's been talking about Medjid. What the hell is it? You don't watch the news much, do you? They're an international no uh, network of hacktivists. They target corporations doing shady business and cause chaos. The subway company server thing? That was Medjid? Trying to find out who caused the train accident? So, they're good guys? Ugh, no way. Some like them, uh, some like them, them, to digital Robin Hoods. But they snoop through emails and destroy data. They're no better than criminals. Hmm. Very interesting. So I wonder if they would be able to find out who we are. Medjid, the guys that claim to be modern day Robin Hoods? They dare call themselves heroes after attacking those companies. Pfft. They're fighting Medjid next? The Phantom Thieves are amazing. I don't want to hear about justice from some shady hackers. I don't care what happens, as long as it's interesting. Well, we know that guy has a priority straight, apparently. Hmm. But I do wonder about this Medjid. Oh, yeah. And our grades did come out today, as far as the calendar said, too. So let's see what we got. Ugh. Yeah, you did. What did I get? Above average. Real diving line, dividing line. My allowance is safe for now. Okay. I wonder what score I got. I finished a little higher than the average score. Is that good? A little the higher than average, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it should set a good example for your friends. <laughs> yeah, I guess I need more knowledge. All right. Probably should have been at least rank four by the time that test came around, but there's another one in September, so. Uh. We were busy. It's not like I could focus on studying. Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? You're right. It's your fault. It is your fault, Ryuji. You don't gotta throw the truth in my face like that. Wait. Anyways, there's something more important here Mishima. You want to ask me something about the internet, right? Yep, I'm going to be straight with you. Do you know who Medjid is? <sighs> You're, you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjid and the Phantom Thieves have caused quite the commotion. They started see. out as hackers of justice, but now they only look for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted Kazee about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who it actually belongs to Medjid. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'd be about it'll be about the Phantom Thieves world debut, no? Come on. Dude. Don't worry. I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the form mobilized as well. Now if you're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. <sighs> So that was fruitless. Uh, yes, it was. Wonder if anyone else got any info. Mishima was pretty useless. You guys get anything? I tried asking my sister, but it seemed as though she didn't know very much about them. She doesn't specialize in cybercrime after all. I tried looking into them too, but I don't come up with anything. There are really just no leads. Hmm. Our opponent is truly elusive. That's not good. No luck. 
Majid. Hmm? It seems like we don't we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. Get that uh hacker chick that we saw that apparently who was spying on us. Yeah, apparently I guess she yeah, already yeah. knows that uh we're phantom thieves, I'm sure. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week, but I have an unfortunate announcement. We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. It's <laughs> apparently okay, everybody I don't like that. Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdown, students being dragged into crime, or crime rings. Hence, Principal Koba has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. This is inconvenient for us too, you know? Having to find things to warn you about so suddenly? Don't get involved in crime. There you go. Just drop it. How are we going to find Medjid? I'm not sure. No matter how hard I look online, all I find are just unreliable rumors. They have carried out corporate terrorism, yet they still manage to elude arrest somehow. Kaneshiro has a lot of trouble, but this is turning out to be a much greater ordeal. Do we bite off more than we can chew? They're too big. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Right. There's no, there's no knowing who we're actually up against if we can't see the full picture. We don't even know whether it's a single individual or a large conglomerate of people. And even if we do manage to get a lead, what do you, what do we do from there? Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. They're probably why my exams are going to shit too. No. You know those are two separate things, right? As they are. Yuji just wants to put the blame on other people. It's his fault. There she is. Damn, this stuff's not really not going so good. Okay. Clues on Medjid, huh? Yeah, get her to help you. Yeah, she should. I mean, she definitely looks like a hacker. Got like, what, five, six monitors in there? Jeez. If we can't identify who it is, there's nothing we can do. Let's wait till they make a move. Hey. Well, I guess we should, uh... Find some time to pass the time, I guess. Find some things to do. Um, let's see, identify the student. Uh, yes. Yes, that'd be a good idea. I gotta you do something with her, because she's a part of the group and I do need to level up her social link. Excuse me. Aiko Tekiyousen. Oh, I hope I said that right. You've been spending a lot of time in the red light district lately, haven't you? Both myself and Kazuya saw you there. Based on whether you were where you were heading, we assume you're working at a store called the After School Salon. How is it working there? What do you mean? It's just a normal cafe. They make me wear a costume and stuff, but that's it. Oh, and I don't have to do anything weird, if you know what I mean. It's a total legal. It's all totally legal. <sighs> hmm. So you're sure nothing strange is going on? Yup, yup. The worst I get is some weird old guys gawking at me. I see. I see. Beyond that, though, why are you working there? How's your financial situation? Uh, fine. I mean... I can just ask my parents for cash whenever I want. Oh, I see. But they totally bug me about what I'm buying if I did that, so that's why I work at the salon. I get some good spending money, plus the guys who come in there are like mega pamper me. Hmm. Mega pamper? It's nice having people treat you like you're special, you know? I'm sure a super honest student like you gets all that time though. Anyways, are you gonna tell me? Are you gonna tell on me? You even bought a witness today. Brought, I guess. Hold up. Doesn't that mean you two are in Shinjuku together? What's up with that, Miss Prez? You have the wrong idea. So what if we were together? It's none of your business. Mm, um, wrong idea? Yes. Ah, good answer. Right. It was nothing more than an errand I asked him to accompany me on. At any rate, don't mind him. As for you, I don't plan on telling anyone. Oh, I get it. So we're like, protecting each other's secrets? Oh crap, I just realized your boyfriend's that rumored criminal. 
You're a real badass, Miss Prez. I told you, that's not how it is. I was just worried you were getting wrapped up in some shady business, so I asked him here for support. Hmm. Eh, whatever. Uh, BT dubs. I was wondering. Is that a Buchimaru kun pencil case? Hmm? Huh? You know Buchimaru kun? I had, I had like tons of Buchi stuff back when I was a kid. What a blast from the past. Wait, why is it so beat up? Well, it was given to me when I was still in elementary school. I'd like to buy a new one, but they've stopped selling Buchimaru kun merchandise. Oh my god, this is too hilarious. The student council president has an adorable pencil case. My image of you has been like a complete 360 today. Um, isn't that a full circle? Hmm, I don't know. I'm just really surprised. You don't really look like the kind of person who'd be into that stuff. I mean, I always thought you were kind of like a robot, but I guess I had better get to know you better. Hey, why don't we trade phone numbers? I really want to talk to you more about Bauchimaru kun and your boyfriend. Oh, uh, um... Okay. <laughs> That's... Wait, he's not my boyfriend. Too late for that. And saved. Oh crap, it's this late already? I've got to get to work. I'll send you tons of pics of my Buchimaru-kun collection later though. Bye bye! Well, that didn't work out as expected. <sighs> she was all over the place. Honestly though, I'm in shock. She thought I was a robot. Don't let it get to you. You can change. Beep boop. We're not gonna do that. Um. Huh? I won't. I'm aware of how one can perceive me that way. <sighs> you know, I believe that Takeo-san said about me is how others think as well. I thought I had changed after the incident with Kanashiro, but perhaps it wasn't enough. That aside, it was almost inspiring to meet someone so distinct from myself. I'm going to try to look on things a little differently from now on. Well? And well, I think that will help me break out of my shell. I hope you're ready. I'm going to show you how useful an honor student can really be. Good. <laughs> Brainiac talk. Chance to step in after shad negotiations fail. Hmm. All right. I'm getting a lot of that. That'd be good, though. I'll be interested to speak with Tekiao-san some more now that I have her contact information. Perhaps I can correct her misconceptions about you. And as always, I'll let you know if anything important happens. Thank I'll you. See you later. I just don't know how much more time we really have before you know, we'll actually get some info on those people. Uh, if anything. Summer break soon, right? Must be nice being a student. I guess. <laughs> so I looked into Medjid. Did you find anything? As you know, Medjid is a god that appears in the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Huh? Its uh, name apparently means the Smiter. It seems nobody is actually sure that Medjid is a real name. On top of that, almost everything else about him is unknown. Even his form is unattained. Uh, an unseen god that flies through the sky and shoots from his eyes. He truly is an elusive being. Dude, everything about his existence is shrouded in a mystery. Wait, fundamentally speaking, ancient Egyptian art always depicted gods drawn in a side profile. However, Medjid is facing straight ahead in all depictions of him. Taking all this into account, he seems to be quite the alien being. I see. Well done. Well done. That's great. Hey, there's nothing to be impressed about. I hope that information was at least somewhat useful. Not really. Indeed it was. Should I look into it more? Please don't. That's enough. Thank you. So, we still don't have any tangible clues. No, and <laughs> that didn't help what Yusuke just said. It was... yeah. Alright. So I guess I'll just skip ahead to some day that has some viable proof, I guess. If 
but now I guess I'll just try to increase ranks. Oh, well, apparently after doing that one thing with the fortune teller, <laughs> we're gonna go pay a visit to Igor. Well, this should be interesting. What do you have to say now? What's up? Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. Hmm. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold or quite foolish. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. You mean Medjid? It's big news. Hey, that is true, it is big. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. Mm, I'm trying. Got a long way to go. I guess that was all the talk Igor had for me. Well, thanks, Igor. <laughs> hmm. Always helpful. Hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. Hmm. <laughs> Got a lot of messages from an unknown account. Ah, okay. Nice to meet you. I am the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Hmm. Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? There is someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medjid, correct? I can give you information on them if you chain, uh, if the change of heart is successful. If you desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down their accounts, just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I'm prepared the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Didn't you respond to it? I guess. How should I respond? Who is this? You got the wrong guy. Is this a prank? Well, I guess these two are just pointless. I mean, of course they don't have the wrong guy. I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. Hmm? You can't reply back? Apparently not. One way chat. I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. That would be a good idea. Well, information didn't happen until like the next day, so... <laughs> so much for a time leap, I guess. Nothing important happened. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Hmm. Mm-hmm. I kind of already kind of know what it is, but I don't know how it's being done. Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hmm. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? If you're a hacker, I mean, it shouldn't be that easy or that hard, I would say. I wouldn't really know, but... Mm. I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. Mm hmm How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Hmm. Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Mm-hmm. Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about <laughs> it. We need to get our computer specialist, who probably is the one telling us to do this. So. Wait. Might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then, does that mean this guy's a hacker? Mm hmm. Although it's not a guy, though, but yes. I don't get high tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. 
<laughs> Jeez, Morgana. Then, is this person measured? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. Mm -hmm. That is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? That would be something, yes. But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Mm. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. That's a good point. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. Mm -hmm. There's no telling when he'll do so though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah, so somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. Mementos. <laughs> Mementos would be another place. No one can find you out there, but we'll bog worse too. But I think that's where all the bugs are. It might be LeBlanc. It's possible. Hey. What's up? Oh. <laughs> What's with the big group? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? Yep, that's Makoto. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. Mm-hmm. Is something wrong? Like Sai Nijima. No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. <laughs> I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. Boss. Got it, boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. I got a letter. Why did I get a letter? We have late-breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. The hell? Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Can't just claim that. Oh, come on! It's in English! Huh. Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. Whatever. Just because somebody didn't reply? That was dumb. People of Japan, wake up. You mm. must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! I'm saying, just because someone doesn't reply doesn't mean you win over them. Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. What? We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? That's what I'm, uh, I'm having a hard time with that part. Confiscation of possessions. Perhaps bank accounts or personal information. Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Huh. Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. 
Hey, so what's this letter about? Yeah, I was curious about that too. He hasn't opened it yet. You don't need any more trouble. Mm. What does it it's say? It's rare for you to get something like this. The hell? Calling card. What? Anything else in there? Nope. Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Hmm. Could it have been Alibaba? Possible. That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Is that a name? Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? You got me. All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. <laughs> mm hmm But what did it say though? They didn't explain that part. I've really started turning the heat up on the forum. I put a special post up on everything. The showdown between the just phantom thieves and the global organization Majed is here. Reactions have been great too. Everyone is really engaged. So far, most of the comments have been pro Phantom Thieves. Most likely because of what happened in the Kanashiro case. Those who are on the other side say Medjid are hackers of justice. But there's nothing resembling justice in what they do. Someday, I want the whole site to be filled with pro thieves comments. I'm looking forward to when that day finally arrives. He can look forward to whatever he wants, but we have no means of striking back against Medjid. We're going to be in deep trouble if we don't do something. Mm, but what to do? First that Alibaba character, and now a blank calling card? What the hell's going on? Got me. Ugh, I guess I can't do anything. We don't have any nearly enough intel. All we can do is wait for them to make a move. Becoming a real pain. A blank calling card, but it had something on there, like a name or something. What the heck was it? Ah, boy. We haven't. Um, why haven't the Phantom Thieves said anything? Having your money stolen sounds terrifying. It's unsettling not knowing what they're going to do to us. They're declaring their victory? What does that mean? I really wish they'd stop that. Can't just declare a victory just because someone doesn't reply to what you said. Doesn't mean anything. Hmm? Who is it? Yep. Phone buzzing again. Did Alibaba message you? Come on. Uh, it's just Ryuji. Nothing? Let us know ASAP if he tries to get in touch with you, okay? Jeez, come on, Ryu, you can't do that. You're gonna get me in trouble here. Again? Man. Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? It's probably not Ryuji. Yeah, here we go. Good day. Who is this? What do you want? Good day to you, too. Let's say that. Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? You got the wrong guy, that's right. Who are you again? Hmm, <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. I take it you received the calling card? So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? No, I'm in class. Nope. Who are you again? Hmm, <laughs> you're a surprisingly diligent student. Now then, I prepared a calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? What are you talking about? Steal from who? And same question again. Um, steal from who? What do you mean by that? Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have the calling card? Hey, hey. Tell them. We need the name of the target. What's the target's name? I need a name. A name? Is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? It is. Just tell me. I see. Hmm, I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was 
Futa. Oh, wow, okay. Futaba Sakura. If you fail on this mission, I'll expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Wait, who is Futaba Sakura? Who are you? And yeah, no reply. I can't find the account to respond. All I get back is an error message. For real? So he threatened you then, just took off? And Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. In any case, we should let everyone know about this. Well, I mean, you got ants sitting right in front of you. On, I guess. Futaba. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Hmm. Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura? Why, it's boss's last name! Does he have any family? Apparently so. Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Yes. Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Mm. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One mm -hmm. of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. Mm, good point. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Mm hmm. I'm pretty sure Futaba is the one that is our next person to be a Phantom Thief. From what the book said. Mm -hmm. What's up? Uh, I got a question. Who's Futaba Sakura? I want to meet Futaba, well, we're not going to say that. Why do you know about that? Uh oh. <sighs> oh boy. Nothing to do with you. He's pissed. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. And dodging the question. Okay, bye. Well, Looks that like didn't help. Hmm. It is, but <laughs> apparently he did not want me asking about that. Wow, well, that sucks. Oh, I just remembered. You, were you able to ask boss about Futaba Sakura? He didn't want to talk. I tried. Could there be a reason as to why that is? Hmm, Alibaba might be our only hope of defeating Mejid. I wish we could get some info about Futaba out of the boss. But trying to force it out would only probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owe a great deal to ba both boss and you. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Yeah, I know just what you mean. They're probably best to wait for Boss to bring the subject up himself. How long could that take? Oh boy. Things are just getting worse and worse as time goes by. And I probably can't do anything still. Yeah, I don't think so. First there was Majid, then Alibaba, and now Futaba Sakura? We don't know how- we don't have any info on any of them. What in the world is going on? It's a good question. This is very, very weird. <sighs> Can't do anything without info, and waiting for info could take who knows how long. Apparently boss doesn't want to talk about it. What's up? Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about that Futaba Sakura girl. Is she related? Well, if she's related to the boss, think people living nearby would know about her? Wow. 
That's some uh, keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that in your exams. Uh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, ask around. Uh, asking around your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. Then again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. So true. So true. But it could be a start. So that would help us no matter what. Ah, oh boy. <laughs> Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget. There's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over break. Got it. Don't go someplace shady like the red light district, and don't go to the beach after dark. I want to go to the beach. I want to jump in some cold water. Seems like we don't have... we have... Eh, seems like we won't be having fun on our summer break for a while. Now that we got all this crap up us, yeah, that's definitely true. Oh boy, what can we do? Ryuji might be right. We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. We've got nothing to lose. Let's go to Yongen and gather info around the neighborhood. Okay, we can try. Uh, well, we'll start with this guy. Hey, Fudaba? Fudaba? Yes, I know that name. Heard it somewhere before. It's the name of my very first love. My teacher back when I was in elementary school. What the? Let's ask some other people too. That'd be a good idea. Um, let's see. How about this guy? Fudaba? No, no. I don't know who could that who that could be. Let's ask some other people. Um, this guy. Fudaba? Who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? What are you talking about? Yeah, hey, I'm a growing boy. Not really. I'm a growing boy. If it's just you and him, then you've been eating enough for two, right? You must have quite the appetite. What? You're telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe it's Boss who's eating a lot then. Let's ask some other people. How about this guy? Fudaba? Who's that? I don't think I know anyone by that name. Hmm. But wouldn't this Fudaba get angry if they found out they're snooping on them, though? Yeah, that's true. But, eh, we gotta do it. I gotta find some kind of information. Um. Let's try down the alley where our cafe is. Hey! Do you know anything? Sakura sounds single, right? I thought he didn't have any children. Okay, well, I guess that came to a halt. Um, anyone else? Ah, how about you? Hmm, did you want to listen in? Do you think the Phantom Thieves are a danger to society? Send us your opinions by email or fax. Phantom Thieves? They're not real. There's no way people like that are real. Well, I guess that is very helpful. Thanks. Um, I'm not really finding any info. What's this guy I got? Or this woman, I guess. Hmm, a vintage game console. Could I actually sell it if I threw in some games? I'm not really sure anyone would buy a game console that's this old, though. We can always come back here later. We need to get info on Futaba. Okay, I wanted to ask her, but I guess not. First thing is, I don't have a TV. I haven't been able to freaking figure out where the heck I need to go to get that. Oop, didn't do that. But I would definitely like to get a TV. That would be a nice thing. I can't seem to find anyone else. I was the only person I found. Anyone down here? Yep. Package delivery, man. Futaba? Hmm, nope. Don't think, uh, don't know anyone like that. I came to Sakura Sands often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. So, up until now, our biggest lead seems to be... Boss buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Okay. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. Okay. Now we have something else to do. So... Where is that then? Not sure. Unless I have to leave. Yeah, I guess you gotta stay here. Um... It's not this place. Where could you buy food besides the cafe? Um, 
Oh, it's, uh, go to the place with the shopping cart, of course. Alright. This place is close to the block, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome! Food above? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything, sorry. Come again! Okay, well that was quick. Hmm, we didn't find anything on Futaba. I think your only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. Oh, don't do that. Not again. Oh man, he is gonna hate us for this. Oh, hey, Sai. You read the letter, did you not? Hmm. So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. Hmm. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. What? Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Uh -huh. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. Abuse? You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. I yield. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Hmm. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. Huh. Well, there you go. We found out that he does and have a daughter. <laughs> that woman is real good at pissing people off. That's true. What's with that look? You got something to say? Kind of. What was that? Court? Custody? Um, custody? This doesn't involve you. Yeah, I know it doesn't, but it's too late now. <laughs> Where is Futaba? Let me meet Futaba. Is Futaba your daughter? Well, you kind of heard that. Uh, that's enough. Just behave yourself and keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. Okay. You got that? Jesus. Lock the store up. <laughs> Someone is in a really pissy mood. The existence of this Futaba is for certain. Mm -hmm. She may be in some kind of bad situation, though. Something More about so, abuse. Our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. Mm. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. So now what do we do? Now that we know that Futaba is actually, you know, a person, and that does live with Sakura, apparently. What are we supposed to do now? Mm. I guess we won't find answers just by thinking about it. Let's go to bed. That's probably a good idea. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Now what do we do? But since we know that Futaba is actually a person... It could help us with a bit of the case, I guess. A woman was threatening boss? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. What's up? Hmm. It's nothing. It's her sister. So to summarize <laughs> what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? Apparently that seems to be the case, but that, that, that strikes me as odd why he would do that. I just don't think that's true. I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? Hmm. There's no way. Maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't think so. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Uh, great, now what? Is it Alibaba? Apparently so. I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help you if you steal her heart. What well, seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. 
Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. A selfish person. Kind of. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, we need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. Does she have a palace? Tell me her keywords. Keywords? What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? Mm. We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Try. I want to meet you. Let's meet up somewhere. Meet? With me? That might be... Oh, well, that will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. You go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. Hold on. I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now, if you'll excuse me. I said the deal's off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. Too late. <laughs> huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? Yeah, it seems so. This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. True. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made mm. that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. Hmm. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? Probably not. You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! <laughs> How much is it worth? We got 150,000 yen out of it! It's pretty good. That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. Mm -hmm. Gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut! Mm, where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. <laughs> you don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Sushi's fine. Any other ideas? I guess it's fine. <laughs> then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Well, that just sucks. Now what the heck are we supposed to do about this food of a... It's not like we can't just forget. I mean, we just got all those messages about it. I wonder if all that Medjid business was just a prank. Now that I think about it calmly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. If their goal is to target the Phantom Thieves, they should want to be acting now, given our fame. Hmm. When you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too. Especially after they taunted us theoretically like that. Yes, however, it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now though, we should just con uh, cautiously enjoy the sushi. That is all we can do. Yeah, something's not right. Hmm. I was thinking that too. I can't really put it into words though. Hmm, Yusuke is right. I'm sorry for bringing this up on the day before a celebration party too. Cheer up, Makoto. We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow. I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. I'll refrain from saying who though. You better not be talking about me. <laughs> That's who I would think too, but could be someone else, who knows. Uh, now what do we do? Well, let's talk about this Futaba and I can't do anything now. I just called it off. Uh, it's very interesting. 
but we should be on our summer break today, so it's a lot of days to do nothing. Oh boy. You seem quite busy, Sai Sun. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? Hmm. The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kanashiro. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? <laughs> How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd, but don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? That's way off base. There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, sai -san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. Huh. Good luck trying to prove anything. You can't prove how a phantom thief does anything, because you can't go into the metaverse. Okay. Time for sushi. This place is in Ginza, right? Do we have to take the usual train from Shibuya? Oh, new place. Ginza. Cool. Famous for its high-end shops, its property value is Japan's highest, the forefront of trends. Aside from the shops, cafes are aplenty. If you're tired from shopping, get tea. All right. Okay. Well, let's go. It's at high-end shop, so can I buy some really good stuff? I would hope so. <laughs> it's a lot of sushi. Man, the flounder is <laughs> out of this world. Mm, that texture. Huh. I, I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. Hmm. So good. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Hold your horses and don't talk. <laughs> By the way. What's up? Is boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? Mm. That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? He is pretty strict. No chance. I don't know. Oh, because of your record. If it's really true about the abuse, hmm. he'd be a no-good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that, I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait, you think Alibaba could be boss's ex-wife? That would be a stretch, but I mean, it's possible. Hmm. He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. Uh. Doubtful. <laughs> Your imagination has run rampant. <laughs> How foolish. Oh, jeez. Everybody shot him down. It could be possible. Still, this is delicious. 
I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. It Just blurt that out, why don't you? You dumbass. Crap. Uh, um, f f fantastic. This sushi is delicious. <laughs> there you go. Y yeah, the fish is so fresh. Good way to just, you know, dodge that. Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish. <laughs> Job, Ryuji. Think about where we are, Ryuji. Idiot. Sorry, it just kind of mm. slipped. Mm-hmm. My apologies for bringing up boss again. We should just enjoy the food. He just does not think before he speaks. He just blurts out everything. Good thing we just diverted it. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Oh no. Akechi-kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Mm. Ah, English again. Mm. Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. <laughs> hmm. Mm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. Uh, you would know. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Hmm. Retaliate. Ignore them. I don't care. Retaliate. Hmm. So you share the majority's opinion. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you got to say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. Hmm. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Good to hear. You're the suspicious one. Ryuji's a phantom thief. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go ahead and blurt that out for him. Um. Mm -hmm. I wasn't anticipating that response. You always find a way to rise above my expectations. Hmm. Glad I can help. You really are an intriguing one. Thank you. I lack your calm mannerisms. But don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? Hmm. I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what the hell are you saying? <laughs> I'm curious to hear what you have to say. You seem to be a wealth of information. In return, I'll teach you how to make deductions. I believe that is a fair trade-off for you. Well, there we go. And now we got him as a confidant. Rank two will be all right. Great. Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. Hmm. Not too soon, I hope. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? He's pointing towards it. Yes. This could be very bad. Nah, couldn't be. Right. I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious from now on. 
We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Medjet. Oh yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. Great, looks like we got a timeline. For real? Gotta do something Keep about going. them. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final <sighs> opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. Of course. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm. Sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? It seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Mm. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblon? We can talk more over there. Things are definitely escalating, so we have a time period now. Just before August 24th. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Mm -hmm. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut Good off question. our contact with us after that misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Mm huh? -hmm. Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Mm-hmm. Could it Alibaba be? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. Hmm. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? In a way, yes. Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I know where his house is. Will this be okay? Hmm. We gotta I know. Agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? Hmm. We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. <laughs> but my fatty tuna! <laughs> Sorry, Morgana. No Gotta do it. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Mm. Sorry, Morgana. Gotta have to let go of your sushi. That sucks. Hmm. Nobody is answering. But the lights are on. Come on. Think he's napping? Even Boss would have woken up how many times we rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here too. Yep, door's open. Hey. Ah, the gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't just go in other people's stuff like that. Hey. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. Uh oh. Rain. Whoa, it sounds like it's gonna rain. We should get inside. Do you think this, that's okay? Probably. <sighs> My apologies, boss. <laughs> well, just gonna enter his house. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. Oh boy. Hello, sir? Hmm. That's not good. He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and... I can hear the TV. 
Hmm. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? Yeah. I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Hmm. Please excuse us. Uh, I don't think he's gonna hear that. Uh oh. Scream? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> On. <laughs> How should I know? Is that or Futaba? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please. Can we just go? Um, gotta go check. What are you freaking out for? I I'm not freaking out. <laughs> Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Mm hmm. Better go. Well, not that way. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, can I hold your hand? Hmm. Well, that's more of arm than hand. I can sense someone's presence. Just sounds like you Who can hear them. Who's there? I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. Hmm. What the? No, no, my legs won't move. Somebody grabbing onto her? Yep, there she is. <laughs> That's a bit scary. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was a bit scary. Hey, come on, where are you? You're a hacker, right? Just show yourself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please save me, <laughs> Oh, there he is. Crap, he's home. Uh oh. Run, run. Oh. Hi. Who the hell are you? Don't move. Don't grab that umbrella. Did you hear me? What the flashlight? Hi. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis. <laughs> Somebody please save me. Oh boy. We didn't trespass, not at all. <laughs> you what are you doing in my house? Um, reasons. <laughs> you are. Oh, uh, good, good evening, sir. Uh, we, uh, we didn't mean to intrude. <laughs> Nijima-san. Mm. Wait, are, are you two dating? Up. Uh. Well, we're just friends. Um, friends nowadays get that close to each other? <laughs> but that's not it. This, um, uh, things. Happened and hmm. hi. You kids are here too. Yep. <laughs> um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. <laughs> the door was unlocked. Yep. Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Guess I'm getting old. Hmm. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here. Isn't there? Well, we just saw her, so yeah. Yeah, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? I didn't tell her nothing. Uh, um... <laughs> Is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. <sighs> uh. I want you all getting the wrong idea. <sighs> I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Hmm. It would have helped. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. So that's how she can hear everything that goes on in the shop. That makes more sense. Did she plant a bug at the shop? No. Where do I start? Hmm. Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted. Somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. Hmm. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, 
She always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. Alone? What about her father? There wasn't a father. Do huh? you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. Huh. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. That's tough. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left. Leaving Futaba behind. She left? Did she die? That's kind of the thing I went, I would think when you said that. Yes. She committed suicide. That's not what I was expecting. Wow. Suicide? Threw herself into the street. Right in front of Futaba's eyes. Oh my god. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out Utaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? Is that why she wants a change of heart? It's because of that reason? That's tough. That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house. Or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. Mm, that's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. Yeah, that's putting it lightly. <laughs> She's so quick minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. <laughs> it seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. Don't worry about it. I understand. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. What does Futaba want? Is that what you desire? I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Hmm. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? Huh. I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. Well, that was definitely something to learn. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. <sighs> no way in hell he's abusing her. <laughs> the no reason way. why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? That's a good question. If I we can help so. her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. It's possible. We do need clues. I don't know about this. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Can check. Let's check. Be a good idea.
The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Found. There you go. What the? She's got one. Apparently so. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Apparently. Hey, Morgana. Uh. Where's Morgana? Oops. Did we leave Morgana at the house? I haven't seen him for some time. Oops. So ever since we went inside Boss's house? S did Futaba take Morgana? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine though. He's a cat after all. Mm. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning after all. Oh right, the urgent assembly. Mm -hmm. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjed called out the Phantom Thieves. So they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <laughs> Talk about a pain in the ass. That's school for you. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. Wow. So, there is our next place. She has no a palace. Way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Uh, hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. <laughs> There's Morgana. <laughs> I think she did take Morgana. Ah well. <laughs> it's fine. Where'd Morgana go? Focus. Hmm. I guess Morgana can't come back. We'll just have to wait, I guess, after tomorrow. But I think that'll be it for this one. That was a long one, but we definitely learned a lot of things. So Futaba is the person we are going after, and that's our next palace. I don't really know if changing a heart like that would really work. It's weird. I haven't encountered something like this, so this is definitely going to be interesting. But we do have this assembly to go to tomorrow, and then after that, I'm not sure, because it's a summer break, so I don't know exactly what we can do. How many days we actually have off, because it might skip a few days. I don't know. But we do have kind of a timeline, though. August 24th, as what Medjid said, to post our identities online. Apparently they know. Or, well... They're going to do something drastic, like take people's money or something. But we'll try and figure this out. So thank you for joining me for this adventure. I'll see you guys for the next adventure. Bye.